everybody. Um, today I'm going to make a video on making these old composite headlights like this from this oxidized or yellowy or foggy into a headlight that turns out like this. Now this will work with anything that has composite lenses such as this which I did a couple of weeks ago with really fantastic results as you can see. Uh, you could barely even see through those lenses before I started the process. It's a four-stage process. Sorry about the traffic in the background. What you need is a drill, a spray bottle with some water in it, a clean rag, and I per personally, I like this kit from 3M. It has several discs of sandpaper in it that fit on this little attachment for the drill which the kit comes with you get a 500 grit disc pad you get an 800 grit a 3000 and your rubbing compound which the rubbing compound goes on this like spongy buffer pad and what you do is you start out with Velcro. You start out with your, your uh, 500 grit, you stick it on the drill, spray the headlight, get it nice and wet, make sure it does not get dry as you're sanding or you'll just end up with swirl marks and it won't be very effective. You'll clog up the sandpaper. So get it very wet and then start off slow. I usually like to start in the corner like so. A little hard to do this one-handed. But you see, it doesn't require a whole lot of pressure. It's going to try to walk around on you a bit. And what you end up with is something like this. You'll see that it actually looks worse in the beginning. And what it's doing is removing the oxidized surface from the composite material. So you go from the 500 to the 800 to the 3000 and then the polish, which turns it into what it should look like. And it stays this way. It's not like these coatings that you see people use where they just spray some clear coat on it or whatever. It actually works and lasts. So I'll, uh, I'll take a video when I'm up finished. This is what you'll have after you do the 500 grit first round. I should note that if you're going to do this without using the masking tape that the kit comes with to go around your paintwork, your bumpers, either be very good with the drill control or remove the headlight. Now in this car, you can't really remove the headlight without removing the whole bumper. I'm not going to bother with that. And I've got pretty good drill control. So anyway, underneath this filmy stuff, you can see that the headlight lens actually looks worse. Um, you got to be careful not to drill in the same spot for too long or you'll start cutting into the composite material more and actually start making swirl marks but uh, I'll move on. I should also add that after each stage of the process you should use your water bottle and a clean rag and just wipe the headlight lens and surrounding area and make sure you're not digging in anywhere or Make sure you're not burning the lens and see if you have any spots that you need to go back over. Like right here, I need to go back over this a little on a, on a few spots you can see. Um, it also gives you a good idea of where you're at in the process. All right, so I've gone back over it and I'm reasonably happy. Um, I've got no hot spots. I've got no swirl marks and it all looks relatively even. So I think the outcome of this one's going to be really good, just as good as the other side. And once that's complete, I will give you an update. Uh, and by the way, this wasn't me. This was uh, the previous owner tried to do this process with what looks like a much bigger drill or a grinder. <laughs> now this is after the 800 grit. I sprayed it off and wiped it. And again, nice even, no hot spots, nothing showing up. So, two more steps. The 3000 grit 
and then just the buffer. And it should look perfect. Okay, this is after the 3000 grit before the buffing. So I think it's turning out really well. And with this, I would just say any advice to somebody wanting to do a kit like this to their vehicle, just try to keep your expectations in check. Because obviously, if you have damage to the lens, or if it's really heavily oxidized, you may not get the results that you're ideally looking for, but it's definitely gonna be an improvement. <clears throat> it makes your vehicle look better, makes it look newer in some cases. In my opinion, it's a safety thing because obviously a good clean headlight's gonna work better than an old dirty one any day. So we'll go on to the polishing stage and then take an update. Okay, final result. And I'll try to get up close where you can see the surface and reflection. No hot spots. No, they don't look brand new, but huge improvement. And this lasts. So now all that's left is just to, um, well, clean up all my mess. But luckily the stuff just wipes off. So use the rag that you've been using. Give everything a good wipe. You don't want to leave that stuff in there. It looks terrible. Just wipe it, give it a wipe. And then job done. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Let's help this channel get off the ground. There will be a lot more to come with this car and with others that I have to work on on a regular basis. Um, this is my 2005 Ocean Race Volvo XC70. Um, it's not in the best of condition. I've had some problems with uh, electronics back here where this um, hinge tends to pinch a wiring harness. I thought that was the issue. It turns out it wasn't. It was something else REM related. So again, hope you all enjoyed the video. Stick around if you want to see more. Thanks.